morning. Happy Monday. Well, time to go back to work for me. I was off Time to go back to work. So I'm going to get right to on this. I do not understand all of this, all these people that's coming out and defending R. Kelly. Um, and in the, they're not just saying, now the people who say, well, I don't know. I think he's innocent. Um, okay. I can kind of, if you really think he's innocent, then I would just like to hear more of your thought as to why. But the things that I'm hearing has nothing to do with the fact that he may be really innocent in people's thoughts. I want to give a quote that D.L. Hughley said, um, because it's the way I feel about it. Exactly. Um, He said, I'll never be black enough to think it's okay for a black man to rape black children just because white people do it too. Now, the first thing I like to say about that quote is, I agree. I agree. I'll never be black enough to defend any guilty black person for any crimes like, (coughs) excuse me, like what they're, you know, R. Kelly, you know, he was having sex with underage girls and just doing the most disgusting uh, with these underage children. Now, um, and it's there's a constant comparison with him and Weinstein. I can't really think of Weinstein. Well, Weinstein, I think, I'm pretty sure, is going through um, court. I mean, he, he he's... He has been um, not convicted. He has been uh, charged, and there's a whole case, and he's more than likely going to get quite a bit of time. Now, people say, well, it's not talked about in the media. It's not talked about in the media. Well, I know about it, and you know about it, so it must be talked about because we, we are aware of it. Also, for those who say it's not talked about in the media, look at uh, this sector of YouTube. Look at uh, social media, black people, people who are African American, and their uh, content creators, or if they're on Twitter or wherever they are, are they talking about it? If you're a content creator and you defended R. Kelly, was was Weinstein's uh, name ever in your title? Did you ever do a video about him? Um, I think that R. Kelly is just more well known. You know, he, his music is out there. That's why I even see somebody, somebody, I even saw on Facebook, somebody ignorantly brought up Jared. Oh, well, y'all want to stop listening to R. Kelly's music, but nobody stopped going to Subway. Huh? I mean, we're grasping at anything to defend this terrible man who, who, who slept with underage girls, which I'm going to get to in a minute about the girls. Um, Number one, Jared don't own Subway. Number two, Jared is in prison. He is in prison. And he was dragged whenever it came out that he was a pedophile. Oh, it was all in the media and all everybody talked about it. So all of these comparisons, why do we in our community, why do we defend bad things just because somebody is black? Now, I'm going to read the most ignorant statement that was on this thread that I'm reading on, um, on Facebook. It says, wow, sounds like the point as being twisted to me. That that's a crazy ass thought, but I don't think anyone thinks that they're responding to what DL Hughley saying. I I never be black enough to think it's okay for a black man to rape black children just because white people do it. Okay. So this is what he's responding to. I would hope that they're speaking of equality as far as justice meaning to to the black man gets his life taken away while the white man keep, gets to keep his. Besides, if digging up an icon that's been dead for 10 years, I guess he's talking about Michael Jackson, don't tell you, don't tell y'all that then I don't know what uh, will. Maybe when our grandkids grow up and grand great grandkids they will only know of these people from us telling them stories so they're saying that these people are being um they're trying to act like um that these people are being sought after uh because 
and that's not the, really the, the one I wanted to read, but he's saying that he feel like black people, they're trying to tarnish our name in history for kids. Okay. But that's not the one. This is the one. This is the one. Sorry about that. This is the comment I wanted to read. It says, when I was growing up, a little 14 to 15 year old girl. Let me start over. When I was growing up and, and little 14 and 15 year old girls was running around, laying up with grown men. They were just called little high ass girls. No one called them pedophiles because black people held those girls accountable for their own actions. They are well aware of what they're doing. Let me read that again. And and, and can y'all drop down in the comments and tell me everything that's wrong with what this person said. Again, this is a grown man. He wrote, when I was growing up, and a little 14 year old and 15 year old girl was running around laying up with grown men. They were called little hot ass girls. No one, no one was called pedophiles because black people held those girls accountable for their own actions. So he is saying, in essence, he's saying, we back in the day, which I think that we have lived in a rape culture for far too long. And the roosters are, what, how they say it, the roosters are coming home to roost, I guess that's the saying. Because we've lived in this rape culture and, and we have to have accepted this this rape, act, uh, um, these rape thoughts for so long. <laughs> Not just in the black community, but just overall. So he said that when he was growing up, that nobody was called a pedophile or a child rapist. They had, they held the girls who these grown men were having sex with. They held the girls accountable. The men in his own, he admitted himself that the men were never held accountable. And he believes that this, this behavior should continue. That if a young girl is having sex or any type of intimacy or any you know involved with a man in any way sexually a grown man that the girl the underage girl should be held accountable not the man that's that was his saying and if you really think about all the talk that you're hearing those are thoughts that that people who are defending R. Kelly is having he just admitted his thoughts and, and wrote them out in pl- plain and clear. We want to blame everybody but R. Kelly. Let's blame the parents. Okay. I, I'm with that because I think that better, you know, ain't no way I would have let my child, I don't care how famous this person is, go and spend that much time one-on-one with anybody. I don't care whether it's R. Kelly whether somebody in that, that is a actor or a singer or even a youth youth so called youth leader at the church, so I do blame parents for not having supervision for you know allowing their children. <clears throat> um, they want to blame the people that was around R. Kelly. Okay, those people was more important. They they felt like their job and how much they were making and the fact that they was with this artist was more important than these children's safety. Okay. I agree with that. That makes them guilty. Um, and then they want to blame the children. Now look, <clears throat> when you become an adult, people say age ain't nothing but a number. That's a lie. Age should be years that you've been on this earth, years that you've grown in maturity and experience. We should not be the same person at 40 that we were at 20. There should have been some growth and some maturity. We shouldn't even be the same person at 40 that we was at 30. Every year you should grow. As you grow older, you should get wiser. A child's mind is still being developed. They're not making right decisions. That's why they're considered a minor. That's why if you leave a minor a large amount of money, that minor can't that money have to be you have to go through the court system, even if it's your own child, even if it's your own child, if somebody didn't leave them or if they somehow come into a large amount of money, the court system want to be in charge of 
the decision making for that money because that person is a minor. And we know that minors can be influenced by adults. An adult can influence influence a minor. So why would you hold a child accountable for this act, but not hold this grown person accountable who should know better? Who should know better? Now, I'm all for black rights and black lives matter and all that. I'm all for those things. But I also believe that um, we should be held accountable for our actions in the black community. I don't want, you know, we, it seems like we want outside our race to be more concerned about us than we are about ourselves. We don't want to hold ourselves accountable. And as much as I love the black man, and I don't have a whole lot of negative to say about the black man. My father is a good black man. Has always been. Both of my grandfathers were good black men. They they was they were with their family and raised their families and did everything they needed to work do. They had one wife, all their children's by one wife. My father, both my granddaddies, both of them were my. I told y'all many times. My parents have been, it'll be fifty either fifty two or fifty three years in June that they've been married. Um, my granddaddy, uh, both my granddaddies were married to their one wife with their children by that one wife. Till death did them part. I'm talking about over 60 years. Um, so I, I come from a family of good men. So I have not much negative. Even my ex-husband, my children's daddy, um, he's an excellent father. And still to this day, an excellent provider for us all, including myself. Um, so I don't know a lot of bad men. So don't put me in the category of, of a scorned woman or she just talking bad. I don't know. I haven't, I have, you know, I, I just don't know, but I will say this black men need to stop running to like they are child, like a child, like they're a child. R. Kelly was a grown man making these decisions. Why everybody got to uh, defend him and hold him down. There's consequences for your actions and he got away with it for a long time. And let me throw this in there. So did Bill Cosby. So did Bill Cosby. And let me throw this in there. So did Michael Jackson. Y'all know good darn well Michael Jackson ain't, ain't having all these kids around his house and laying in his bed and something wasn't weird going on. So even though, you know, and people always say, well, why people wait so long to tell? And, and why do they say this in court and say that in court? Y'all know that it's not easy to come out and say, hey, this happened to me. Because if you you done had this, this awful thing happen to you. And then when you come out and say so, everybody is against you. Everybody is against you. Especially if it's, it, it was a celebrity. Especially if it was the pastor down at the church. If it was something that everybody, people do not want to say, oh man, R. Kelly, because they don't know how to separate the talent from the sin. They don't know how to enjoy the talent and hate the sin. They can't say Michael Jackson really molested them boys because then they can't enjoy Michael Jackson's music anymore. They can't enjoy R. Kelly's music anymore. They can't walk, watch Dr. Huxtable on TV and says that is a character that Bill was playing. That is not who Bill Cosby was. So I can like this unreal character, Dr. Huxtable on TV without saying that Bill Cosby and also say that the, the person who played the character drugged and raped some women, even if it wasn't but three. I know a lot of women came out and a lot of them was lying, but even if it wasn't but three, he raped somebody. So my time is almost up on this thing. Please drop down in the comments. I know some people agree, disagree with me and that's okay. Let me know. Let me know your argument. You know, let me know why you disagree with me. And let me know what you thought about what that guy said about 14 to 15 year old girls being held accountable. And we never talked about pedophiles before. Um, have a happy Monday. Everyone have a great day, a great and productive day. Um, and just be blessed. God bless you.